prairie grasses for Paul Gruchow. What if past flowers dwarfed you as you reclined under prairie stars, all heaven scattered above prairie grasses, infinite in their reach, reminding you of your diminished, insignificant role in a universal scheme of things where even the prairie and the grasses are ever changing? Where now can you see great horizon-sized bison herds when what remains are only clustered preserves of an antique land that was carved into plow-sized plots, sliced into fading fragments, shorn of natural wealth, ebbing from grass stems to corn stalks, growing beneath prairie sunshine, starshine, embedded in a prairie sky, have you soared where gulf warmth meets arctic chill, known by hawk and hopper, yielding showers and sun for forbs, sedges, and grasses, home to prairie wind? Have you heard it whistle through seed heads, implode among grass stems, never stay in one place, dance across distances limited only by the prairie horizon? Have you seen the heavenly, hellish receding line over prairie grasses, reaching beyond reach, infinity experienced, zestfully, ontologically, naturally, sometimes clouded by prairie wildfire? Have you been there when winter's melted snows inflowed prairie soils, leaving aged grass dry as bison wallows, and fast as pronghorns incendiary tongues raced across stale sod, ending grasses fallow plight, leaving prairie roots. Are you anchored by roots reaching deep into darkened soils beneath the odor of hot metal from the drought dry dusty topsoil to organic layers damp and deliciously bacon to catch nourishment seeping from wildfire ashes next to prairie potholes. Would you wade ponds and potholes left by olden glaciers' graves midst rolling hills, trysting places for waterfowl and shorebirds, hidden in plain sight, outside, lying summer still in the endlessly susurrating prairie?